So we know that Peter is actually being completely possessed by the Venom symbiote and it's going to be a thrill to see how they actually show that in the game and how we're going to be playing as Peter of course going through the city kind of being affected by the symbiote doing a bunch of things that J. Jonah Jameson is going to call out and completely bash us and roast us on. It's going to be amazing. People, I always thought Spider-Man was a few geese short of a gaggle, but this confirms it. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for more videos in the future. I'm going to be doing a ton. You guys have been killing it with the views recently, and I genuinely am just so shocked by your guys' support. It's really amazing. So if you're new, go ahead and take a second to not only like the video, but also subscribe as well. That will mean a lot to me. While we go down and do this countdown to marvel spider-man 2 now let's basically talk about the venom symbiote possessing spider-man and going after miles in many ways because this is definitely going to happen in this game like it's not really shown but it is hinted at in the end of the trailer now if you actually see during this moment when this venom symbiote is trying to take over the spider-man logo the bioelectricity that comes off of miles it actually flashes on screen real quick and blows off the, the symbiote and then after that it says be greater together the venom symbiote tries to go over the together and then it flashes off with the of course bioelectricity and then it completely turns back to normal so it can be implied that the venom symbiote is actually weakened by the bioelectricity that miles has in his body and a lot of people of course have theorized that the bioelectricity is actually a type of mutation from the new form that he injected or that he kind of intook in his own game so it is going to be very interesting to see how that plays out and i think that that could be a type of way to go into our next topic which would be peter versus miles and if that is the case then i think that that would be a very large catalyst to getting peter to act fucking normal again <laughs> this goddamn savage please stop throwing people around it's going to be really funny to see how far to an extent he's going to be acting like this like how long he's going to be doing this in the game i really hope it's most of the game but um anyway i i really think that this miles versus peter fight is going to be somewhere in the third act and I don't know where it's uh, hopefully it happens in a church that would be like the cherry on top kind of like a perfect reference to where he happens to you know get the symbiote suit off to begin with and just banging himself on the the bell of course and i genuinely think that that would be a great idea to really have miles be a big part of this game and to really show his importance to peter's character in general or to at least the story in many ways because people think that miles is like just a sidekick people think that miles is really just there to be basically what peter was in his younger days and you know they don't really take him serious but i think that that would be a really good way showing that he could not only defeat peter with the symbiote on but he could also like potentially beat venom himself and i think that this would be a good twist to the original storyline that they had as well in many ways this is going to affect peter and, and miles lives in many ways and i think that of course peter doesn't really have a lot to lose i mean he already lost aunt may and he really already lost you know most of his friends martin lee and dr octavius all he really has is aunt or uh, mary jane and you know she's great and everything but like let's just be honest here if he's just gonna start acting up and if he starts acting up and then things go under i mean there's a lot that can happen it's very very interesting to see how this is going to affect peter and how of course he's going to treat miles and how it's going to lead up to the fight because of course miles isn't going to treat take that treatment if he's going to be getting cut off while he's trying to call him or, or getting told what to do in a very demanding way like it's going to it's going to be very interesting to see how that dynamic plays off because he's just not going to take it i really love the parallel to the first game too because when you really look at it it's almost like they're doing the doc ock story but this time miles is in peter's spot and doc ock is basically being played by peter himself so it's very interesting to see that dynamic played out uh, but the rules are basically reversed with Peter being the one that's slowly descending into madness because of a, a type of thing that might potentially help him or his friends. You know, it's it's such a good excuse, and I love that they're going to be playing with that in a story, and I can't wait to see Peter's story arc throughout the game. Like, how is he actually going to, to kind of come off of this? Or, or how does he even get influenced to really get that on him to begin with, if he even does that on purpose to begin with? You know, we don't, we don't really know what's going on. It's never really implied. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that all plays out and how this even affects Miles and who who knows what's going on with his mom and what she might be doing or what happens to Genki. I think that this might be a really dark story too. I think that a few characters might die. I'll talk about that in another, in another story, but I think that, you know, potentially Miles' mom might die or even Genki or even or Mary Jane, they might die. Like there's a potential 
potential that they might do that. Or even J. Jonah Jameson. I can see J. Jonah Jameson dying in a very brutal way. I, I can see someone dying in this game in a very weird way that we didn't see in the last game. That's shocking. You know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of people saw Miles' dad dying from a mile away. But um, I think there, there needs to be a shocking death here to really not, like, grab us in, but to really, like, tell us how serious the story is. So, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. You guys have been killing it with my views and killing it with all the support. And I really, really do appreciate all that support. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.